Hello everyone, welcome to our deep dive into the world of Android TV boxes. If you have been wondering if the Stream X X1 Pro is the right device for you, how you can set it up for the best viewing experience, or what features sets it apart from the rest in the market, then you are at the right place. Let's start with the unboxing. The Stream X X1 Pro is packed with 4GB of DDR RAM and 64GB of storage, ensuring uninterrupted performance. It's like having a supercomputer right in your living room. With this kind of power, you can stream anything you want without breaking a sweat. Under the hood, the StreamX X1 Pro is powered by a quad-core Cortex-A53 processor and a Mali G31 MP2 GPU. Combined with the 4GB DDR RAM and the 64GB, you're looking at a device that's ready for anything whether you're streaming the latest blockbuster or running multiple apps at once the streamx x1 pro delivers a smooth and lag free experience and when it comes down to content the streamx x1 pro has you covered believe it or not buying this device will give you access to a lifetime subscription of live content on-demand content and more it will also include an app store with exclusive applications you may not have come across before check out the link in the description for an exclusive discount code so you can purchase yours today. Unboxing, you'll find the streaming box, a Bluetooth voice remote, an HDMI cable, a power supply, and a user manual. Setting up the StreamX X1 Pro is a breeze. Just plug it in, connect it to your TV with the included HDMI cable, and follow the on-screen instructions. So the device is connected to the power cable and the HDMI cable. I will not be using the internet cable as it already has Wi-Fi 6 and that works pretty good. Uh, you can even add more storage if you want and you're a bit crazy because this slick design that even looks a bit like the Nvidia Shield is a powerhouse when it comes to streaming. It has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about the remote which is also very smooth. It has Google Voice Control and it also have a, has a mouse function so you can actually use a mouse. Let's go ahead and go through the steps quickly. And with this device, with the Stream X X1 Pro, you'll get a lifetime subscription of live content, video on demand, and even playback. Let's go ahead and connect through our Wi-Fi quickly. And the next step, we can go ahead and fit the screen. And we can hit finish. And that's about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Usually with a Google Home device or a Fire Stick, you're probably busy for 15 minutes setting everything up, logging in here, downloading all the apps that are pre-installed, which also is going to take some time. Uh, with this, it's already done. So like mentioned before, you will get a lifetime subscription just by buying the device. And that being said, if you want this device, if it's a good fit for you, go ahead and check out the link in the description that will give you a premium discount. So I'm very curious. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, of course, is activate the voice control. And you'll do that by connecting your Google account, which I won't be doing this in, the, in this video, but uh, later on. But you want to press the home button or the voice control button. And you want to press and hold the OK and the return button. So it will start connecting and pairing. And that's when you can actually also use the mouse button. And now you have the possibility, of course, in the home screen, you won't be needing this, but in Google Chrome, for instance, which is also included, pre-installed, you'll probably, uh, it will probably come in handy. So I'm very curious about the live content, which is not yet set up. Uh, we'll get back to that in a sec, but you can actually add shortcuts right here, which I am really liking. And I believe these are more shortcuts. That's correct. So you can use these numbers as a shortcut so if i'm just for this demonstration i'll add gallery to number three and i go to the home button or any else anywhere else and i press the number three it connects to our gallery so that's pretty awesome and neat and you'll have here a speed test uh, option uh, you can delete apps but you also have, have customer service as you can see you can connect through the online services that being said i'm very curious about the app store but my big ass head is in front of it there you go the first option is play store uh we're not going to be using that because you need to log in your google account for that i'm more interested in the uh, pre-installed or preloaded app store that comes with it this is practically going to practically going to fully load up your device your stream x x1 pro with all the best and exclusive applications out there including this lifetime subscription so it is installed let's go ahead and open it up i'm very curious it's also my first time here 
um i've never really engaged with this app store to be honest i have been uh, i'm very familiar with fully loading uh, devices up but um pretty manual task here it's like literally all included and you can also install youtube so you practically don't don't need any more the google play store let's go ahead and install the first live content application and it's loading it up just wait patiently and we're almost there there you go we're not going to open it up yet let's go to the next one and wait for this to also download oh, i believe we can just go ahead and continue and we can so what else is here oh you have more of these exclusive applications also we're not gonna be showcasing that because we don't want to get into trouble but these app stores oh this one's also very nice um these app stores will come very very handy like this one right here you can practically download any application here so you literally won't be needing the google play store keep in mind if you want to use google play store services like google assist you will be need needing to log in which i do recommend doing uh and here you have even more things i am truly loving all the possibilities in this streaming device and the response time is very fast um it's installing everything very fast let's go ahead and add this application and go back so for this tutorial i am not going to be testing uh these other two if the live content is good then i assume the other two are also good um so you can assume that too uh let's see how fast it loads into live content again you can probably not see uh anything from here on out but i'll be your voice assistant in this and it's fully loading up instantly let me go to the second one one two three okay three seconds to load to the next one again one two three three and a half four seconds to load so that is and the quality let's check the quality honestly this is like 4k to me uh I'm not sure if it's 4K, it's between Full HD and 4K. I'm telling you, it is a very good quality, especially because it's a, it's a one time you only pay for the device and it comes with a lifetime subscription. If you want to know more about the content itself and how many, because there's a lot, I believe, a lot, I, I forgot about it exactly, but go check out the website or the link in the description. So that's about it. I'm not going to dive more into that. So I was pretty curious about the benchmark results and it actually proves that I was pretty right. The device is smooth and running smooth and it can handle multitasking with a score of 112 for a single core and a multi-core score of 384. You can see that the device can handle everything smoothly. I also went ahead and did a root check and the device has root access. So that's also running good on it. And lastly, when buying Android TV boxes, they always claim uh, to have specifications. But if you go deep and dive into the product itself, um, you see that what they claim is most of the time false. In this case, it's surprisingly true. The installed 4GB RAM is showing and it has 64 gigabytes of storage. Well, right now it has 352 gigabytes. Um, the Bluetooth 5.2, for some reason, I can always in this application, I see four plus. So it says four plus, it doesn't say the exact number, but they claim 5.2. So I, I am pretty positive about that since everything else is also correct. Uh, natively, it's running 1920p, uh, 1080p, um, but it can go up to 6K quality so gpo wise it has what it also stated in the beginning of this video and it has a 60 frames per second um that being said the quad core cortex a53 processor 1.5 megahertz is also something that was stated on the site that being said i believe this video has come to an end uh, please let me know what you think about it. Don't forget, there's a discount link, an exclusive discount link in the description. Uh, check it out if you think, if you believe this device is the right fit for you. I want to thank everyone for watching and have a great day. Don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.